my channel. Today's video is going to be all about washi tape because I have grown a recent obsession with this stuff. It's just so fun and colorful and today I'm going to be sharing with you nine different ways you can use it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first idea is to use any colored washi tape to identify your pencils. This is awesome if you guys go to school and you lend out your pens and your pencils to your friends but you never end up getting them back. I was always the kid that lent out like pencils and stuff and I never ever got them back and I was always so mad so if you put your own colored washi tape on them you're always gonna know that they're yours and same thing goes for makeup brushes because if you're a dancer or even like a cheerleader and you guys do makeup with your friends or different things at competitions and stuff you can probably easily misplace your makeup brushes so if you put washi tape on them you're gonna always know that they're yours Number three is to decorate your laptop. I have a case on mine and so I just took a fairly like matching washi tape and kind of did whatever I want. You can, you know, washi tape pictures to it underneath. You can do this to your actual cover because washi tape isn't like actual tape. It won't like ruin your surface or anything. So yeah, I basically just did a little square around the apple sign and then a couple other strips just to decorate it a little bit more and make it a little bit more fun for spring and I thought this turned out really, really cute, and like I said, you can really go nuts and do whatever the heck you want with this one. And the most obvious one is to use it on paper, so decorating your planner is very popular right now, and I personally love using a different colored washi tape each week for, you know, separating the week from the weekend and different things like that. Number five is to use washi tape to spruce up your drawers. So if you're wanting to bring a little bit more color into your room for the springtime, I recommend using like a floral washi tape like I have here. And I'm basically just lining my drawer with this, adding a couple stripes. You can do this wherever you want in your room basically, but I thought it looked cute on my nail polish drawer here and I'm just measuring it out with my hand, you know, just eyeballing it to make sure that they are somewhat evenly spaced. And this is awesome because you can take it off whenever you want and you can also like change the colors if your like room scheme, room color scheme, I don't know what I was trying to say there, changes. Number six is to label and organize things with washi tape. So I'm just writing on little, you know, cardstock, paper, lips, face, eyes, cheek, and all those types of things because I'm going to be labeling my makeup drawers. Now, like I said, you can label anything you have, but this is just what I figured would look cutest being labeled. And so I basically just took the same washi tape that I used for the other drawer and put one on the top and one on the bottom. You can also use the corners, so taking a colored washi tape and just like, you know, sticking the corners down. And again, you can totally like tape this down, change the labels. It's so easy to like remove and add to, so it makes it a really easy and simple decoration that you don't really need to commit to. Number seven is to decorate your wall, and in my case, I'm decorating my door because this is what people see when they come into your house is your front door, so I figured that it would be good to decorate this. You can kind of use this as like a memory type of bulletin board or like you know type of thing you can have pictures you can have polaroids you can also do like concert tickets and stuff and you can really just like collage it up with washi tape and again it's not permanent so you can change it up whenever you want basically and number eight is to cover your light switch i personally have the ugliest light switch in the world in my robe and so i figured that i would just cover it in washi tape to match the purple theme going on so i basically just took the cover off this was super easy i just used like a regular screwdriver and popped it off and then i'm covering it with purple polka dotted washi tape and again if you don't like it in a couple months you can take it off and I did purple because it matches so if your like bedspread changes or you just hate it you can totally like pop it off and change it and you don't need to take the light switch off to you know cover it up you can do it just from the wall but this looks really clean and also you can cover the little holes that the screws go in because washi tape so thin that you can just pop them right through again and this is how it turned out I think it really like you know spiced up my room a little and number nine is to use your washi tape for cut crease eyeshadow. Sometimes you use tape for this, but it can be a little bit sticky. So if you use washi tape, it's a little bit less adhesive, so it doesn't like hurt your skin as much, and you still end up with a really like solid line for your eyeshadow if that's the look you're going for. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want more people to find this video or if you like these types of videos and you would like to see more of them on my channel. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I also have Snapchat. Links will be down below. And if you recreate any of these, then definitely tweet me a picture and stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!